Hey everyone who loves movies. Today, let's talk about the 1977 film, An Exciting Underwater Adventure. Do you know some interesting facts or stories about this movie? Stick around because we have some funny, surprising, and maybe even sad facts to share. So, when did you first see this classic movie? We're curious about your first experience with the deep. And we also want to hear your favorite memory or personal story about this film. Share your stories in the comments below. Your stories make the movie even more interesting for everyone. Get ready for a deep dive into the deep where every fact is like finding a hidden treasure. Stay tuned for more facts and don't forget to share your own stories. We're excited to hear from you. In director Peter Yates' 1977 film, The Deep, a team of treasure hunters explores the depths of the Caribbean off the shores of Bermuda. The narrative unfolds as they discover the riches of a sunken Spanish galleon intertwined with the cargo of a sunken World War II ship. Simultaneously, they face off against a Haitian drug lord and his cohorts. The film, while not considered a classic or particularly profound, provides an enjoyable experience reminiscent of a 1970s James Bond movie. Robert Shaw, portraying the seasoned seaman Romer Treese, stands out with his commanding presence, energy, and wit in every scene. The supporting cast, including Nolt, Bissett, and Gossett, deliver satisfactory performances, contributing to the overall watchable nature of the movie. The underwater scenes, effectively shot, showcase breathtaking marine scenery and life. Jacqueline Bissett's portrayal adds a layer of allure with a wet t-shirt, a characteristic element typical of 1970s cinema. The diving sequences, though challenging to critique without expertise in the field, manage to be enjoyable for viewers. The storyline, slightly above average, incorporates a shade of mystery, while the action sequences and 1970s aesthetics contribute to the overall entertainment. Lou Gossett Jr., portraying the antagonist Klosh, adds depth to the film with his convincing performance. In summary, The Deep provides a fine underwater spectacle, blending elements of adventure, action, and a touch of mystery. It may not reach the status of a cinematic classic, but for those seeking an entertaining dive into underwater exploration and treasure hunting, the film proves to be a satisfying watch. After experiencing a dry spell in acting jobs following the cancellation of the Buccaneers, Robert Shaw found himself working at a food factory for about a year. The uncertainty of the entertainment industry led him to explore other ways to make a living. For the character of Romer Treese, several famous actors were considered, including Sir Sean Connery, Robert Mitchum, Burt Lancaster, and Charlton Heston. The casting discussions showed how important the role was and the desire to bring an experienced actor on board. Eventually, Robert Shaw got the part and brought Romer Treese to life with his strong performance. Nick Nolte also had a turning point in his career with the movie. Landing his first leading role in a major American film was a big achievement. The movie not only showed his acting skills, but also opened doors to more opportunities in the industry. The movie left a lasting impact on the careers of those involved. It showed how they faced challenges and moved forward, becoming a significant part of Robert Shaw's and Nick Nolte's careers. The movie's influence on their paths in the entertainment world reminds us of how unpredictable the industry can be. In conclusion, the film stands as proof of the ups and downs of the acting profession, shaping the careers of its cast in unexpected ways. It's a reminder that success can come from unexpected circumstances, as seen with Robert Shaw and Nick Nolte. The movie remains a cinematic journey filled with twists and turns, much like the unpredictable paths taken by those whose stories are. In 1977, a movie hit theaters starring Jacqueline Bissett. She became famous for her role. But what's more interesting is her connection to Marceline Bertrand. Bertrand asked Bissett to be the godmother of Angelina Jolie. Their friendship lasted for over 30 years. Eli Wallach, a famous actor, also starred in the film. He's well known for his roles in old movies like The Magnificent Seven and How the West Was Won. His acting made the movie even better. The movie did something unique by having someone to keep track of details underwater. This made the underwater scenes look real. It set a good example for future movies. The Deep got recognized as an important film by being put in the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress. It's a reminder of how powerful movies can be. And that's why The Deep will always be remembered as a special part of movie history. The Deep is a movie from 1977 featuring Romer Treese, portrayed by Robert Shaw, inspired by real-life diver Teddy Tucker. Tucker, who aided in writing the novel, worked as a consultant and appeared as the harbor master. 
The film's theme song, Down Deep Inside, by John Barry and Donna Summer, earned a Golden Globe nomination. Summer's Oscar-winning song in Thank God It's Friday was also produced by Casablanca Filmworks. Nick Nolt, whose father and sister were notably tall, played a role in the movie. The Deep, a film from 1977, had its main filming location in Bermuda, chosen over Florida, Jamaica, Catalina, and the Bahamas. The decision aligned with the setting of both the film and the source novel. Robert Shaw, one of the film's actors, received an Oscar nomination for playing King Henry VIII of England, joining Charles Lawton and Richard Burton in this recognition, although Lawton was the sole winner among them. Notably, the movie's opening underwater diving scene, featuring Jacqueline Bissett in a black bikini bottom and a see-through wet t-shirt, catapulted her into Hollywood's spotlight as a sex symbol. This scene significantly contributed to the film's success at the box office and garnered considerable word-of-mouth attention. Producer Peter Goober once attributed his financial success to that iconic t-shirt scene. Nick Nolte, renowned for his role in The Deep, commenced his acting journey in 1966. He starred in a rendition of The Miracle Worker alongside Sheila Page, who eventually became his first spouse. Interestingly, they embraced an open marriage, during its creation, The Deep featured the world's largest underwater set. The Bermuda government granted official permission for its construction. A section of an island hill was removed to create a cavity 33 feet deep and 120 feet wide. This space was then filled with millions of gallons of seawater replenished daily. The set included an artificial marina housing a shark, a moray eel, and 300 fish. Robert Shaw, another notable figure in the deep, had previously portrayed villains alongside Sean Connery. In From Russia With Love, he played the specter killer Donald Grant, facing off against Connery's James Bond. Shaw later depicted the sheriff of Nottingham in Robin and Marion, with Connery portraying Robin Hood. In summary, the movie showcased Nick Nolte and Robert Shaw in significant roles and presented an impressive underwater set, establishing a new standard for aquatic filmmaking. In the beginning scene of the movie, Dale, portrayed by Jacqueline Bissett, dives near a shipwreck and encounters a giant green moray eel. During filming, Bissett's stunt double, Jackie Kilbride, dislocated her shoulder while performing this scene. The shot was captured in one take with multiple cameras, and a diver was instructed to pull a stick attached to Bissett's wrist from inside the wreck to simulate the eel's action. During an interview on Fresh Air, Eli Wallach, who starred in the film, mentioned his experience riding horses. He learned to ride while at the University of Texas, where he took care of polo ponies. While filming The Magnificent Seven, Wallach would ride for a few hours each morning with his colleagues. Robert Shaw, another actor in the movie, had a theater background. He appeared in a stage production of Harold Pinter's The Caretaker in 1961, alongside Alan Bates and Donald Pleasance. The trio later reprised their roles for the film adaptation in 1963. The Deep features a diverse cast with interesting backgrounds, including experiences with underwater filming, horseback riding, and theater performances.